This video presentation will show how to add an additional user to your DVR or NVR video recorder and how to change the admin user password with the configuration user menu. Each user of the surveillance system is assigned a username and password and is given specific permissions or accesses to features of the surveillance system. You can create several users, each with different access permissions. Initially, there is an admin user who always has complete access to the system. To use the configuration user menu, you must log into the system using the admin username and password. To open the configuration user menu from the live view display, right-click the mouse anywhere on the desktop to open the pop-up options window, then select menu. By default, the login window will open. Select admin from the username drop-down list. Click the password field. Click the characters on the virtual keyboard to key in the password. Click Enter, and then click OK. In the menu window, click Configuration. Incidentally, on this display, the Configuration General menu, the Enable ID Authentication flag, shown enabled here, is what required the login to open the menu system. If you disable this flag, you won't need to log in to open the system menus, but the system will be much less secure. To open the User Management menu, Click User in the left frame. In the User Management screen, click the Add button at the bottom to open the Add User menu. In this menu, click on the Username field, then click the keys on the virtual keyboard to enter a username. In this example, I'll create user named Joe. So just click the keys to enter Joe, then click Enter. Next, click in the password field to assign a password to user Joe. I'll give Joe the password 2222 and then click Enter. Enter the same password in the Confirm field. 2222, Enter. Next, open the Level drop-down list and select either Guest or Operator. The difference between Guest and Operator is the set of initial permissions assigned to the user. We'll look at these permissions next. Here, I'll select Operator, then click the OK button to create the user credentials. Notice that our new user, Joe, is shown in the username list. To customize Joe's permissions, click the icon for Joe in the Per column. In the Permissions window, notice that there are three tabs local configuration, remote configuration, and camera configuration. In the local configuration shown here, the operator level permission assigns only the local log search option. You can enable other permissions by checking the boxes for those items, then clicking the apply button at the bottom of the window. For instance, we'll enable Joe to perform local shutdowns and reboots. Click apply to assign the permissions enabled in the tab. Similarly, the Remote Configuration tab is used to assign permissions to Joe if he logs into the video recorder remotely, that is, through a browser across a network. The Camera Configuration tab is used to allow our user, Joe, to perform different functions with the cameras in the system. Operator level permissions, by default, allow all the permissions listed here to be used with all the cameras connected to the recorder. With multiple operators, however, you can assign different cameras to different operators and different camera permissions to different operators. After checking the camera boxes for the permissions you want to assign, click Apply to save your settings, then click OK to close the permissions window. In the User Management menu, you can delete a user by clicking the icon for the user in the Delete column. To improve the security of your DVR, we highly recommend that you change the default admin password. To change the admin password, click the icon in Admin's Edit column. In the Edit window, enter Admin's current password on the old password line, 1111. Click the Change Password checkbox, and then enter Admin's new password in the Password and Confirm fields.
click OK to save your settings.